Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, gang stalked, electronically harassed, genetically manipulated, and given a horrible nanotechnology and genetically modified disease that they're calling Morgellons. Unexplained dermoplasty or whatever. No. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video, besides the fact that I look like, I don't know what it is that I look like, my skin has a plastic, death warmed over kind of look, and I know that I'm hovering just moments from the grave, you know, it's like the way I feel, rheumatism, inflammation, you know, I'm right on the edge of this, anyway, I've been having a really, 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 really difficult time uh, because Petra has been having a really, 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 really difficult time. Petra is uh, tormented with the V2K technology, synthetic telepathy, voice of God, whatever you want to call it. Twelve computer voices that torment her about everything she thinks, everything she says, everything she doesn't say. Um, and blames her for everything that's wrong in the world constantly like an abusive parent who smacks you every three or four seconds uh, and she's becoming exactly what happens when you smack a child every you know over and over angry frustrated screaming uh, the times where she's able to pull together strength, you know, that we pull from the depths of our soul, if God doesn't, doesn't beam it on us or give it to us or, or whatever with us, we got to pull it out of somewhere, and the time between, I mean, it used to go, she would freak out, and I could talk to her for a while, and we'd scream and yell, and we'd, you know, and then she'd find some way to be this middle pillar thing, and, and, you know, reassuringly tell these horrible people that they're all wrong, you know, and it would last maybe a week or two, and then it would last maybe a week, and it would last three or four days, and it would, now we're down to like, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, she can go without screaming and yelling and throwing stuff. Talking about, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna move, I'm not gonna. Oh, here she comes now. So we gotta move. And, um, yes, there we go. There's the angry, <laughs> the angry inch. Oh, there's my love. And, uh, you know, storming off <laughs> to go to the doctor. Anyway, we have to move. We're supposed to. I've been, to, I've been trying to get an apartment for myself and Petra and a friend of ours who's also targeted and suffering horribly. And I don't know if this is going to work. And Petra, you know, the people we live with want to get rid of us so bad. private entrance and, you know, I, I don't know if that lady's prepared for the, the whirlwind, uh, screaming, cleaning, craziness that our lives have become, you know, I, I try to, to find a moment to reflect on everything and to not, you know, I can't live in a place that is full of hate and anger and paranoia and the stress is killing me. You know, this disease is killing me. The stress is is hampering my immune system, and this thing is eating me alive, man. Anyway, the reason I stopped to make this video and ended up complaining about how horrible my life is, you know, who gives a shit anymore, um, was that I'm walking down the street, and there's this beautiful grass. Here, let's do it, just as I did. 
I'm walking down the street, la 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 la, and I see the beautiful grass. And it's beautiful. And I stop and I say, Timothy, talking to myself in the third person again as they fracture my personality with their nighttime gobbledygoo. Timothy, take a moment and look at the beautiful thing that God has made. And rather than crying more, I stopped and made this video. So, again, uh, I want to thank everybody for all their support and, and uh, I pray for everybody who's suffering in the same horrible way. I don't know what these people, this world is coming to. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they want to do this. It's horrendous. You know, I've noticed that every single one of these things, these grasses, are covered in bugs. Cover every single one is covered and bugs and yes nature is wonderful and uh, you know God made it and nature will eat your ass alive and God made it and here we have I don't even know what these are called I keep thinking they're clover of some kind but they're beautiful and these have also webs on them are they spider webs? I would hope so. Uh, and again, inside of the flowers, we see little tiny creatures. So the web of life is uh, expanding here in New York to take over our. Yeah, even uh, even this bit of grass. You know, it's dead and dried, and it's covered in creatures and dirt. I, I have the feeling that geoengineering and, you know, the global warming and the chemtrail spraying and all this stuff, the radio frequencies, and it, if we're not careful, nature is going to come back and kick our stupid human asses. And, uh, We'll deserve it, pretty much. Now, I know that if there are people in the world who who are conscious and aware, and I could almost do this all day, just sit here and look at the birds and the grass, but. I too have to run. Now the question is, do I turn around and go home, that they know they don't want me to do, to see if the guy that was sitting in front of our house in the truck with the engine running looking at us strangely is just waiting there for us to leave so he can go in because you can get into our house with the, with the you know, <laughs> fucking bumper key and a, what, it's, come on man, it's so easy to break locks these days. Only the uninformed and uninitiated don't know this. Um, to go see if I can find him, catch him in the act, or, you know, I guess if he's part of this, they'll be monitoring my thoughts. So if I run back there, he'll be uh, sitting in his car. Although I could, can't go in the back way. I, I, all right, let me see. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I have an hour. I can go back and see. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to enact one of my few paranoid, uh, whatever, so I, I try not to do this stuff, I try to just forget about it, go and live my life like there's nothing wrong, um, well not like there's nothing wrong, but, uh, like I said, I, I can't live in that place where the people who love me are out to get me, and the, the, Everybody hates me, and the whole world is a conspiracy. I can't, I can't do it. You know, I've narrowed this thing down, and and uh, you know, put on some blinders for 
some of the human behavior and you know, I, I just I don't know, telling my mind I cannot live there. That's all. Cannot do it. Will not allow those processes to continue. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Alright, so the guy is gone. The truck is gone. I'll go look in the house anyway. Thanks for watching.